My name is Christelle Torokov and I'm the lecturer here in uh, School of Physics and Astronomy, University of Edinburgh. The theoretical physics, I would say, captures the middle ground of this widely described as theoretical approach to studying physics. You do the same courses as in physics degree in terms of including the experimental physics labs in early years, which you in later years can replace with theoretical courses. It's down to students to choose to, whether they want to go take your theoretical physics degree more into the mathematical direction or computational direction, or perhaps add something like chemistry or astrophysics. So I would say theoretical physics is the middle ground. You have mathematical physics on one side and perhaps go as far as computational physics on the other side. So the courses that you will be studying follows to essentially the same a set of courses as a physics program in the first two years. There are a few options, so you can choose to take the School of Physics Maths course or a School of Maths Maths course, this one third of your first year courses. The other third, of course, was the physics courses, but just like all other physics programs, one third of your first year is completely free of choice. So that is where theoretical physics students can choose to do more maths, like mathematical physics. They can choose to do informatics courses and uh, excel in their computational skills. Or they can choose chemistry, biology, engineering, anything they like, or perhaps a language. And if you're worried about choosing optional courses, don't be, because you're not doing it alone. Every student coming to study with us gets their very own academic. We call them personal tutors, but they are there with you. They stay with you throughout your time here and they get to know you uh, and they help you with all those important choices, both on course level as well as program level. As for research opportunities during your undergraduate degree, there's quite a few already embedded in the courses that you will be taking throughout the years. So for instance, theoretical physics students already in their third year, junior honors year, they have a course called Research Methods in Physics, where they get to do a small group project and learn some of the basic skills that will then serve them well in their senior honors year, where all students will do a group project and a senior honors individual project. In addition to that, the School of Physics and Astronomy, we offer career scholarships. So that would be about an average six weeks in the summer that you will be uh, placed with a supervisor doing a research project as part of your summer internship. And our students are also highly competitive worldwide and uh, secure internships in other institutions. In addition to studying your undergraduate courses with us, you also have full access to our research seminars, general interest seminars and colloquia. And also we have this wonderful Higgs Center and their research seminars. In your final year, this includes also taking some of the courses that are offered by the Higgs Center MSc programs in theoretical and mathematical physics. So why come and study in Edinburgh? Well, the physics department uh, is small enough to feel that we are all part of a community. The relationship between staff and students is open and friendly. And at the same time, we're big enough to offer a wide range of exciting topics for you to study, the courses, the projects, and summer projects and beyond. And Edinburgh as a city, just like our department, it's small enough that you can bike or walk between campus and city centre with ease. But at the same time, being the capital of Scotland, it's big enough to offer all sorts of exciting opportunities for you to enjoy on your spare time.